Phil from 3DP UK here. Um, been a while, uh, I think it's about 10 days since I last posted a video and quite a lot's been happening. Um, so I thought I'd catch up with all of my subscribers. Um, yeah, so I don't know if you've noticed, um, I featured in the Anycubic Fan Festival um, fans video. Um, I knew about it a few weeks ago. Um, I was contacted by Anycubic to say that they were happy with the content that I was putting out and that would I mind doing a 20 second video and I did that. It was quite strange watching it actually. Um, quite nervous, you probably heard it in my voice. Um, don't know why, because I, I quite like doing this sort of thing as you can tell from my subscribe, um, from my YouTube channel, sorry. Um, it's all new to me. I, I just think that I've enjoyed doing this. Um, I've been speaking with Sam Prentice. He's been giving me some guidance and uh, these two printers over here, um, I'm currently reviewing. Um, I've got a couple of videos up already on some of them. So we've got the Focus F12 and we've got the um, Minga um, Magician X. Um, keep a look out for them. So I've, I've had some fun with them already. There's been some great prints. Um, but yeah, keep an eye out on that. Um, I hope you're enjoying my content. Um, check out the Fan Festival video, um, it's quite funny. Um, so my 20 second video that I put out was, um, it was snipped in half really. So it had had myself sort of saying um, how I like the any cubic range. And then it sort of cut me short. Um, and then I, I I sort of featured again sort of later on just wishing everybody a happy Anycubic Fan Festival and I think my, my voice was slightly sort of miss, it was missynced, it was quite funny to see it, it was like um, something out of a movie, do you know like um, where they're dubbed it was quite funny, my family laughed but do you know what, I'm really happy to have featured in it. Um, but also I wanted to add um, before I do this video, um, I was asked by a subscriber to um, say how to actually do it on the Anycubic um, run out sensor so when the filament um, just runs out what procedure I use so there is um, an automatic way of doing it um, but I, like I say I've done this in a previous video but I do prefer the manual feed um, so I'm going to describe that a little bit uh, at the end of this video um, but I just wanted to quickly catch up with all of my subscribers and just say thank you for following me um, keep following keep watching um, but I just wanted to take two seconds to thank Sam Prentice. Um, I know he's really busy um, and I really, really appreciate all the support he's given me by lending me um, printers to review. You know, as a, as a new YouTube person, it's quite a struggle to sort of get your feet around it and he's been very, very supportive. Um, lots of communication with him. Um, I met um, 3D printing nerd. Um, when I went to the TCT uh, event in Reddit in, in Reddit in Birmingham, um, and that was brilliant. It was uh, yeah. I introduced myself. It was it was in a really random place, so it wasn't actually at the event itself because he was so busy. Um, it was actually at Birmingham train station. I plucked up some courage to just go and say hello to some, uh, yet another one of my idols, like Sam. Um, the content they bring to us is amazing. It it gives everybody an insight as to what technologies are out there. And I'm more of um, a more amateur -y side of it. So I focus more on um, the issues. So if somebody asks me a question, I like to put a video out about it. However trivial it might seem to someone who's more experienced in uh, using 3D printers or, or FDM printers. Um, I think that having this type of channel, which is more sort of low end um, experience or middle experience, it gives people a bit more sort of in depth. Um, that's why I tried to do this. So I thank everyone. And also I wanted to thank um, Studio Zombie 3D. Now, I caught up with Will at the very start of my YouTube um, videos and he gave me guidance. He said how to sort of conduct myself, how to film things. Now, his content is really, really amazing. I'm gonna drop the links to both Sam's um, YouTube channels and to Will from Studio Zombie 3D. I'm gonna drop them in the link. Now watch them, they are brilliant. The contents, two very types, different types of content. You've got Sam who's very like, he's, he's so energetic. He just brings like, um, I don't know, it's just like, I love watching it, it's, the content is amazing. And then you've got Studio Zombie 3D, so Will. 
his stuff is so the way he describes the, the putting the machines together and stuff like that is absolutely brilliant um, I actually purchased the Anycubic um, Cobra Max because of well um, and ever since then I've watched his um, unboxing and his build and the way he describes things is so precise and I think um, I think he deserves a lot more recognition than sometimes he's, he's given so I, I this is my way of saying thank you Will thank you for the support you've given me and obviously thank you to Sam and um, thank you to all of you guys for watching and uh, taking the time to actually watch me um, so yeah that was just a quick 10 minute thank you and uh, um, how I'm getting on um, like I say some new reviews coming up um, and uh, yeah thank, thank you to um, Anycubic for allowing me to feature in your fan festival I really appreciate it it was it was a very strange experience um, yeah so I'm gonna it's gonna snip over to the um, quick filament run out sensor on the Anycubic Cobra Max um, just to how to go about it so I just thought I'd build this video slightly bigger than maybe it would have only lasted two minutes but it's gonna last 15 minutes um, but yeah thank you everyone uh, Phil from 3DP UK check out the uh, filament runout sensor on the Anycubic Cobra Max. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly um, get the printer to start sort of printing. Um, I'm going to run it at about 50% slower so just to, uh, the first layer should always be slightly slower um, so one of the followers has asked me to um, say how I go about it when the, uh, the filament runs out so what I'm going to do is simulate that um, I can scrap this um, print anywhere at the end of it um, so what I'm going to do is to simulate that it's run out I'm just going to snip it before the sensor like so just cut the, the um, filament off and what that will do is um, it should just cut out so imagine that your print as um, your filament has run out and your print still running it still needs more filament um, it should go into error any second now and the sensor will send a signal to the motherboard and the motherboard will tell the screen uh, right hold on a bit there's um, an issue there we don't have any filament left and the print should stop so it does have a filament um, run out sensor and it does work um, I've used it quite a few times so let's take it well let me just crank up the speed and it should go into alarm any second And there we go. So that's your warning. You go over to the screen and you will see something like this. Uh, it'll do like a funny little TikTok. Um, the filament is insufficient or the filament sensor is malfunctioning. Now don't panic. What it's done is it's lifted the um, filament head up probably about 10, 20 um, centimeters from the bed, probably not even that, actually about 10 centimeters. Um, that just allows you now you can press OK on that and it will give you two different options now the bed stays at temperature and the nozzle stays at temperature so nothing has changed you have resume do not click stop if you are willing to carry on with this print especially if you're like 80 90 percent into a print and that's the worst thing you can do um, now we're going to click resume but we're only going to do that when we've changed the filament now in my case I've already got the same kind of filament you can see this one has um, popped through like so here and we're just going to feed it in again now when it runs out the printer will just stop so if you're leaving it and it runs out all you're going to need to do is refeed it through now this could I, I now this part of the question I cannot answer how long um, the actual machine will actually stay idle like this in this um, 
filler filament run out sensor position. Now, um, if anyone knows the answer to that, drop a link, uh, drop a um, comment in the um, comment section to say that I left it and it and I didn't go back to it eight hours, ten hours. I don't know. It could be that it could be a few hours. What you will get is quite a lot of leakage. Now, you want to make sure that that's clear of it before you resume. Now, as you can see, I've put the filament back into here. Now you can see that I've got some left in it. The machine will not do anything at all. What you can do, there's two options. If it's the same kind of filament and you're not changing the colour and you've got an identical one, you can click resume, let the filament feed through and then just feed your other one in through afterwards just keeping, um, keeping the filaments both ends together. Um, you'll feel it, it's fine. Um, what you will find is that from the extruder to the nozzle that your retractions may not work for that period of time. Um, the reason being for that is when the um, extruder is pulling backwards and forwards for your retraction, um, obviously the only bit that's going to retract is the new fresh filament that's feeding in. So any filament that's left in the line, in the tube, um, is just going to stay static. Um, so that, that could be something that you want to take into consideration and now the way around that is the following. Um, so this is what I do. Just gonna... So what I do is I've run out of filament but there's still some left in the line. Now what you want to do is on the extruder you've got the, um, the extruder knob here. So what you want to do is push in and pull back on this handle. So push in and then just pull it out pull the filament out as far as you can you'll see it in the Bowden tube here when the color starts changing do not go into the actual extruder itself you can see it just coming up to here and then when you get to the actual port stop there press this clip and pull your tube out and what you can see is your Bowden tubes there and then what we're going to do is push back through so pulling this back again and just pull it out that was what was in the Bowden tube. Now that's, you know that that, that tube now, the, the Bowden tube is completely clear of the previous filament. And this goes for if you're actually changing colors as well. So you can pause print, change the color. This is obviously about um, the filament run out sensor. So how, how, how I deal with it manually. Now I d you cannot do it um, automatically that I'm aware of or safely anyway. Um, so I prefer to do it all manual that way you're not changing anything on here you haven't got to bleed anything through now I know that this whole area here is completely clear of the previous filament and this saves having to watch the print and stay with it so if, what you're going to do now is make sure your filaments in the filament sensor feed it through into the Bowden tube just on the entrance port which is a bit fiddly when it's around the back um, pull the teeth open feed it through You'll see it going through the Bowden tube into the filling head. Gently does it, obviously there's a bit of a wobble. And what I always do is just give it a little push through. You'll get filament coming through, that way you've not got anything left. Take it away from the print with your snips, as you can see, like so. And then over at the screen, we're going to do the following. So on the screen, you're going to click resume. Like I say, do not press stop. So click resume. You'll see there, just take away any excess. Like so, you'll see it bleeding through. It's just taking a moment. Just take some of it away, like so. It's lowering back down to where it was. Now, be aware that you may get a slight layer line. I don't know. Um, that was the first layer for me, so it's very unlikely that you're going to run out of filament at like the first 50%. I would hope to think that when you're doing it in your slicer, um, you're actually working out how many grams of filament that you're requiring. Look at your spool, kind of work out what a full spool would look like and try and uh, sort of work out your um, amounts. And as you can see, that's back to printing, hasn't really damaged it in any way, it hasn't changed it. Um, it's the first layer, so it's not a problem. But if you was to have done that um, 
three quarters of the way through a print if it runs out. Like I say, I don't know how long that stays in that state. It'd be interesting to know that. If you know the answer, drop it in the comment section if you've left it longer than an hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, and even 24 hours. Um, but what I do know is the filament sensor works. It, it keeps the bed at the temperature and it keeps the nozzle at the temperature. Um, you may see some scarring on your print, but nothing that um, would damage it. But like I say, remove the filament from the Bowden tube. That kind of helps. It gets straight back into printing and you can use the same principle. And the same principle for changing colors is as such. So you've got your color, that's the print that you've got on, but you're halfway through and you want to change the color. What you do is you press pause on the screen it lifts up just like it does in the filament run out it makes the bleep it makes the TikTok noise um, lifts up wait for that snip it change it pull it out um, like i showed you um, change the color put it back in take away some of the bleed um, otherwise you get like a lump in and as you can see it's printing fine um, totally fine there um, and then you go back over there and press um, start do not press stop that completely shuts your program down and that's it so I hope that helps you. Um, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Take care everyone, Phil from 3DP UK.